And remember, if I can cook it, so can you. So, go nowhere. Let's create. So here we have it. Bison cube stews for stews. And I'm going to have in my description the location where I got this bison. It's a bison farm in Virginia. I also have some tomato sauce. I use a regular tomato and I grind it. I have some annatto oil. I'm going to have a link in my description on how to prepare your annatto oil. It takes less than two minutes. I also want to have some regular extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to have... Um, some potatoes peel. I have a little bit of a pumpkin, you know. I chopped them in little squares or rectangles. Didn't peel it because I wanted to, I don't want it to go too mushy. I have some salt, you can use any type. Himalayan for me. Ground black pepper and I have some smoked paprika. Now this session here, is what I'm going to use to create my sofrito. I do have some preserved sofrito, which is something that we do in Puerto Rico, but I decided to go 100% fresh, meaning on the spot, uh, because I had the ingredients that I need for that. So I have oregano, I have some onions, uh, about three or four teeth of garlic, which I means these are some, uh, bell peppers you know i have the red and the orange i have some cilantro and i have what they call a uh, recao in puerto rico the culantro which is a thicker leaf so i was lucky to find those ingredients so i don't need to use my preserved one this one is going back to the refrigerator so i'm going to go with the gas iron which I preheated for a couple minutes medium high I want the heat to distribute properly I'm going to use some extra virgin olive oil get that baby heating up I'm going to use some salt Heading the baby and I'm going to start cooking the meat. And I'm going to see again, baby, see that color, that taste, put some more salt. And bison is very lean, so you don't want to cook it for a long time. You just want to give it a dark, nice looking color and texture. The stirring is very good. In essence, we're bracing, we're going to be bracing this baby. Medium high. Yeah, beautiful. You do this for a couple of minutes, maybe three minutes overall. After two or three minutes, see how beautiful. What you do is you're going to take them out. Put in a different container for now. Scrape this a little bit because you want to maximize this and what you're going to do now you're going to start preparing your sofrito and i'm going to use my natto oil for this see that look nice looking orange color start with your onions so this is just sofrito now. Pepper. Y culantro. 
and you cilantro. So you preparing the sofrito. Before you start preparing the base, this is real time. Now that you have your sofrito prepared, you do this for a few seconds. Add your garlic, for the sofrito, and your oregano, for the sofrito. You have beautiful. Now it's time to do the base, which is when you bring your tomato sauce. The smoked paprika. A little bit of the pepper. A little bit of salt. See how beautiful it's looking? Now you bring your meat back into the equation. Mix out those flavors of, see how beautiful? Potatoes. And your pumpkin. Mix everything up. Mix out the flavor. Doesn't have to be beautiful. Just mix them up. Now, what you do is you bring your broth. You could have used water. But I'm going to go with a uh, beef broth, a stock in my case. And you put whatever amount you want. It depends how thick you want this, how soupy. I think I have put here about half a cup so far. You can a little bit more if you want to, three quarters, maybe even a cup. And medium high, you let this baby cook. And the indicator of when this is done is going to be um, the actual potatoes. Once the potatoes are soft, it means that it's ready. Okay? So let's this baby cook for a little bit. Five minutes later, turn the heat down to medium. Potatoes are not ready, no near ready. So you're going to have to let it cook. I'm going to let it cook for another 10 minutes and then check it out to see how, you know, how ready they are. But one thing you want to do is Give the stock of the broth a taste. If you feel that you need to add a little bit of salt, now it's the time. I don't have to add a lot, just a little bit. And if you add, you stir up a little bit. And let it cook. So another eight minutes have gone by for a total of 13 minutes. Let me touch the potatoes. Potatoes are practically ready. So I'm going to let it go for a couple more minutes, but before I finish with my final touch, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few leaves of cilantro, just to give it the air aromatics, the final touch. Last two minutes, you know, let it run with that nice fragrance, that earthy fragrance. 
that pretty much it.